Okay, let's, let's go look at crude oil. Oh, we got some nice action here this morning already. First of all, we got a large time frame over here. Large time frame. This will tell us when we need to be looking at larger moves in the market. We have an oscillator at the bottom. It, if we get above 90% or below 10%, the market typically will move in the other direction with trend. And that is where you want to look for possible high probability trades. So let's go over a couple setups that's happened this morning. And we just went over a second ago to look for it. It just happened, the trade that we were talking about. Let's take a look at what we can have. We can use a larger time frame versus a smaller time frame over here. So what we have is we have a 9 sim Renko at this level. 9 sim, that's the largest time frame we like to use. 9 sim. And over here we have a 3 sim. That's the smallest time frame we like to use. So in the 9 sim, it gives you the overall picture of trend. We have three moving. We have a couple moving averages on there. The moving averages are primarily for trend direction. So if we are moving down, they'll be below each other. If they're moving up, they'll be above each other. Small above the intermediate or below the intermediate, intermediate below the larger. So obviously we're in a downtrend to sell. So then what you can do is, is you can come down here and you can see when we get above 90% or right at 90%. So at this high, it set the trade up for a possible big move to the downside. So the larger time frame set this trade up. So what we want to do then is we want to see the consolidation before the continuation move. So we can go down, we can check down to the smaller time frame then. So as we got above these bars right here, I'm sorry, these trend boxes, they're nice and wide. That's a consolidation. So these boxes here are nice wide boxes. That tells us that the market is consolidating or we're going sideways. That is now, now we're ready for speed to come in the market to give us a um, entry to pop in the market. So here's how you can do it. Once we see a, a close, candles that close of less than four candles inside of a trend box, we have speed. Now we can participate as a trader. So this is a speed bar. So here's a consolidation box, consolidation before continuation. That is when we're above 90% over here on the 9 sim. Is telling us to look for a big continuation, big possible move, big white boxes. Now we need what? We need speed to come in the market. So when speed comes in the market, a speed bar, we know to look for what? We need to, to look for the first retracement to pop in the market. Once it retraces back up, which it did, we have a retracement. There's your first retracement. We get a doji right at the high, which is good. That's a pause in the market. Sellers are equal versus buyers. And this is where negative market delta came in. Negative market delta caught the exact high, and there's our entry at this level. So you can see what happened was we got a doji for a continuation. Your entry is right there for a nice move. The speed bar set the whole thing up. Then we come up again. We come up again. We have a speed bar that comes in. Speed bar comes in. This is a one candle close. We can look for the first retracement. And then we're going to go, and we just had this one I talked about that stopped on symmetry dots. I said look for it to uh, a continuation to the downside because the 5 sim is hitting symmetry. Here is a doji, negative market delta, caught that move down also. Now, when we use the 5 sim Renko, I have a 3, a 9, 5, and 3. So you can literally trade the 9 and 3 together to catch these trades. Because you're going to see consolidation with trend. This is a trend. When you get these retracements like this, this one and this one, you can use the 9 sim to come up and give us speed bars when it gets above 90% or close to it to pop in the trade. What you can also do is you can use the 5 sim Renko. That's a 3 sim. A 5 sim, the reason I use the 5 sim, and we were just up here a second ago, and I said the market has to stop at this level for the for continuation or it has to stop at this level for continuation so as the market came up it stopped at these symmetry dots that's the best way to use our symmetry dots is off the five sim Renko. we had speed that came in the market and look at the overall push that we just had alright so you can use the nine sim to set the trade up for example we were three for three on this yesterday let me show you. So look down here below. 
how we had a full retracement. We got above 90% here. We got above 90% here. We got above 90% here. We had this high, this high, and this high were all contained because of the three Simrico. Because the three Simrico did what yesterday morning? Just like today. It's off to a great start again today. The three sim yesterday did exactly like this, like it did today. We had this big trade that just happened. Nice big trade. Same thing yesterday. We had speed that came in the market. So the speed came in the market. Look what happened yesterday. Same thing. We had a nine sim at a full retracement here. Full retracement. The big white box, right? We're at 90% on the nine sim Rinko. What, what do we need to happen to get this market moving? We need a speed box. Less than four candles close inside of a trend box. That's a speed box. Two candles printed. Look at the first retracement. This is a continuation before speed. Look how it caught the retracement. Look how it caught the retracement here. Look how it caught the retracement here. Look how it caught the retracement here. Then it came up to symmetry dots. I said symmetry dots are resistance. Caught the retracement here. Caught the retracement here. All the way down. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chances yesterday. It was seven for seven on the downside. This morning, same thing. You had consolidation before continuation. There's your consolidation bars. <clears throat> the nine got above that 90%. There's your speed bar. There's your first retracement. <clears throat> so that's how we want to do it. We want to use the speed bars to tell us when speed's coming in the market. That lets us get, what lets us know as traders, we're good to go. If I look at gold this morning, we had a beautiful gold trade that happened a second ago. If I look at gold, this is consolidation before the move. And you've got to get understand this. You understand this, you do very, very well in the room on any market. Look at the consolidation before gold, gold moved. Consolidation is right here. Look at all these consolidation boxes. A consolidation box, what that means is any speed box that has four candles or more that closes inside of a closed trend box. So this is consolidation. before continuation because what it does the market's consolidating so what tells us to activate a trade if I see consolidation with trend if trends up which it was on gold trends been up on gold right off of a nine sim Rico and I see consolidation on my three sim the green light to get long that market is right there that that close of that candle. now this is the best that you're gonna get you can't get any better than this bar right here, this, this trend box. This trend box is the best trend box you're going to get. Why? It's a one candle trend box. One candle trend boxes are major speed in the market. They're really trying to mark the market up. Or they're trying to mark the market down. If you see this, you better get excited, especially if you're hard trend or hard downtrend in the market. If you see a box like that, you better get all giddy and excited because the market's probably going to move hard in that direction relatively quickly. Why? Because we have a trend filter built in, and typically anything less than four candles close inside of a trend box of speed, one's the best you can get. So when you see one, you better look for that first retracement. That first retracement's down here. This is your retracement indicator. There's your retracement indicator. It gets below 10%. There's my doji. My doji, i got a high closed doji right there. Doji comes in. It closes above my doji. We're off to the races. Gives you another shot at it. Breaks through symmetry. We have another retracement. Catches this exact low down here too. All right, so speed before continuation. Then it comes up again. We get speed bars. And then we come on symmetry, and then we're going. But... This is what I want you to concentrate on right here. Speed before continuation. Okay? And going in before the news, we had great trades. Look at 6 o'clock this morning. Look at the speed bar here. Speed bar, retracement. Speed bar, retracement. Speed bar, retracement. Speed bar, retracement. One, two, three, four, five retracements on the downside. So it works both ways on the downside and upside. Consolidation before continuation. That's how we do it.